All right. Figured since this question was applied in places with stuff, are we still recording? Yes, we are. Uh, what exactly my issue with pr gay pride is? Oh, God fucking damn it. This question should not be as complex as it is. But unfortunately it is. Because leave it to a bunch of fannies to sort of make something more complicated than it is. And give complication a makeover. So it looks even more complicated. I'll have to come up with a better joke for that later. Uh, the issue with Pride is it was used to tease me growing up. Okay? You get a lot of people that are like, well, gay pride helps people in small towns and small cities or whatnot, outlying areas where it's not as accepted as it is in the big cities or whatnot, find it that there is somebody else out there like them. Dude, I had a bunch of kids pointing out that, like, you know, not being, like, you know, cis hetero meant you wore butterfly tights, like with butterfly wings, purple tights, you're kind of overweight as you're running around being out, like, and, like, the tights could be, like, made different bright spandex colors or whatnot, and be like, yeah, you think if you're, like, doing that, because that's what all homos do, you're going to get a job? No. At the same time, it's, if you're going to sit around at a little fair concert, you know, wearing flannel, burning bras, but still wearing clothing and sweatpants, you're going to make yourself look up more threatening than you are, and you're not going to be able to escape outside that small bubble, which you might be able to get a little bit of money in, but you're pretty much going to be living out in the woods and never shave your legs and, you know, eating mushrooms all the time. Which, okay, sounds radical for vacation, but not for entire life. And, like, part of what happened was Pride gave, you know, just go to a guy Pride Parade next time you serve one's a town or whatnot. You just sort of look the worst stereotypes out there. And imagine being told that, like, you know, if you're different, that's what you have to be. That. I'm just pointing off. I'm not pointing to, like, anything particular. That, I mean, my room's a mess, but... <sighs> That's kind of part of why I hate gay pride. It made the teasing worse. I mean, there's a difference between like being alone and realizing there's a group of people like you. And they're all terrible, horrible people. Like these are people that's like, great. This is actually sit down from being all alone and think I'm a fucked up. Now I when I know I'm fucked up, and two, I have like you just can't see yourself properly, but when you see somebody else doing some fucked up shit, you have to go realize, wait a second. Not part of the group is that. Fuck! That's kind of what gay pride always was to me growing up. It was something that the bullies could go, well, were often forced to go to for their general, like, you know, homophobic attitudes by the group homes that they happen to live in. Or, you know, maybe some of their, like, cousins or aunties or uncles had them go or whatnot. You know, to be realized, well, you know, gays are people too. And they take these people to a parade where, like, I'm certain maybe, like, you know, 10% of those people are actually people. And they tend to be the ones driving the floats. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to be seen with the rest of you. No. I'm going to go here on the float. You guys go be gay up there. That is kind of bad, dude, that you actually get, you know, these small people down and, like, explain this to people. It's like, no, this supports people. Them thinking they're doomed the rest of their life to run around in purple spandex with butterfly wings. That will help them. I'm just sitting there going like, ah, suicide. Seems like such a better option now. <laughs> such a so much better option. That's kind of the counter to that. And uh, at the same time, it's the cities are not more accepting of gay people. Cities are just unaccepting, but in new and wild ways that you'd never imagine in a small town. Small town, it's like, yeah, they need Jesus, and like, they boink each other or whatnot, but, you know, they did make that nice pie. So we're going to guilt trip them and browbeat them as they go about having their loving relationship, you know, just trying to be a bit alone, much like the rest of us, which is why we browbeat each other. Just can't get off on that. But they did make that nice pie for the county fair. Maybe I should, like, you know, 
and force X terrible stereotype on them. And that's kind of small town racism you deal with. And like, you know, being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you concerned Jesus? Oh, no, 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 I'm not trying to impress you around. That's small town racism. Big town racism comes in all kinds of forms. It's not a new, ra it's not like not racism, not acceptance. It's just different, different shit. New, welcome to new boss. Same as old boss, just the policies are more Democrat rather than Republican or vice versa. And that's kind of a thing. Like here in Vancouver, the gay is ghettoed. You don't see too much gay outside of Davies Street or a commercial. And heaven forbid you see a tranny outside of the railroad tracks whoring herself out. And people don't understand this. Well, I'm going there for my own safety. When I was at Edmonton, again, different style of sort of bigotry or whatnot. Well, whatever you want to call it. There were gays in every neighborhood. And you could fuck with somebody. We're like, I don't want to hit with a gay person. Do you think you'd honestly get hit on by a gay person? Are you, do you think you're that good? How do you know? Are you, like, checking yourself as a man? Are you secretly a gay person? And you're trying to, you know, plan for that day where you could be like, oh, I wasn't wanting to be... Like, that was kind of, like, how you could fuck people up to him because there was gays in every neighborhood. Every neighborhood was Skid Row, too. The city planning was terrible. I'm not going to, like, defend how they plan their city. But much... But all the same, it's like... Are we still filming? Yes, we are. We have about a fucking minute left. And... And at the same time, you get that with the gay communities. They get this stupid, ridiculous solidarity. Whereas, like, if we hide all our problems, nobody will figure it out. You do realize there's, like, you know, Jesus Cure Gay pamphlets that talk about the anorexia, the roid rage, and that kind of sort of mindset in the gay community. That solidification is meant to not have come out. And hell, when I go to, like, a female-only place, the first thing I'm asking is, like, well, whose rapist prior to old grounds have I just stepped onto? Usually, yeah, I'm answered fairly quickly. I'm actually in a female building where I haven't figured out, you know, if there's any predators in this place. And I'm kind of like, going, well, 